Good morning. We are crossing the border post today from Senegal into the Gambia. I will have to take a ferry at a point as well. So pretty excited. Early start. Early start means I woke up at 7.30. It is now 8.13 and I am leaving the property, driving towards the border. It should get, we should get there in about 30 minutes. So I'm super excited about that. And I will, per usual, try as documents as much as I can. So if you decided to cross from Senegal into the Gambia, which I think you should do. If you've been Senegal, go into the Gambia. It seems like another place. The good thing about the Gambia is they speak English. So this struggle life might be relieved for a short period of time before I then go into Guinea, Guinea-Bissau. Your girl is purging really, really badly. Yesterday I was sat in the toilet. I don't know what is it. If it's the Senegalese food, if I'm not, it is the street food I'm trying, and I'm craving that again this morning. But yesterday, mm -mm, I thought, <coughs> I'm not gonna go there. Uh, I really thought I was gonna go. It was bad. What would look at us this morning? Maybe we don't look like what we've been through. But this travel life, it ain't for the week. Look, I'm literally still in the middle of the road. Sorry, oh. <laughs> the man's like, are you okay? <laughs> I need to get out of here. So, I need a drone. I've been thinking about it for a minute, and I think I'm gonna get it. Like, these views here, oh. It would have been 10 out of 10 to fly drones. But, anyways. I don't think for this trip, which is one of me, it's just an excuse because I know people that do it, even though it's just one of them. Um, I just feel like the DJI camera and my phone is sufficient with the Insta360, you know, get those bird eye view. I think a drone, a drone do the trick. Okay, bike man, you should see how some people drive in this place. Anyways, we are making good progress this morning, 25 minutes to the border. I need breakfast, some bread and egg, <laughs> some coffee. You guys should know my order by now. I'm a cre I'm a creature of habits. Oh no, that's looking very a bit a bit, a bit dodgy. <laughs> I'm willing to try new things, but I think I have to sit on toilet for one hour. Not happening. Hey, yeah, this road is it Africa massage. K K K K K K K. So no be road again now. Ooh. The secret of driving is go slow. I can double the time it takes to drive to a place. Cause if you have a loose tire, the time it takes to remove, go, then you have to go to the mechanic to go fix. You will spend longer than and where are you rushing to? That's my own philosophy. If I'm wrong, let me know. But that's honestly what I think. Oh, I think this is. You'll be driving like extremely not poor place. Oh, sorry, madam. I've been no. Uh -huh. No issues. But you look and there's a mosque that looks so stunning. Like it's just like a gem. Oh, this bubble will be so cheap if I buy it from here. We we'll have to go to the market in the Gambia. I'll force my host to take me. It's nice to have a host, you know. I don't know what that experience would be because I've been trying to navigate everything myself. But in Gambia, um, my dad knew someone that connected both of us. So that might be a different experience totally, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, okay, that's the end of today's money assembly. Should we call it money assembly? <laughs> remember when you were in boarding school, okay, if you know you were school, you will remember. But you know, I went to boarding school for a year. I used to have morning assemblies. And it's just kind of like they give you like a lowdown of everything happening. It was hella boring, but we had to do it every single day. I think even the weekends, if my memory serves me right. I had to do prep. She was like, study. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh Lord. There was a bike coming behind as well. It's telling me I'm one minute away from the border. It's a busy place. Looks like a market. I can find something to eat actually. Quite 
Peckish. I may just have to wait till I get into Gambia. I don't know if it's cheaper to buy petrol on this side or in the Gambia. Because I'll need to top up on half tank right now. I remember my room. Half tank is empty basically. That's how I consider it. It's just an interesting hybrid of horse carriages and car. We literally share the same like the road. No question about that. But yeah, four hundred meters away. This is a Google map. The accuracy of that, I don't know. And Gambia is visa free for the UK, so I think I might still use my UK passport to stamp in. And I only got this in 2021, and it was an extra copy, which is just wild. It was an extra, you know, extra thick. And we've 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 used the rubber. I'm laughing. This um this visa for Mauritania look as if it was go for a bit like a, oh god the overwhelm just came over me as I just looked at where the heck I need to go. There's a lot of cars in front. Let's see. This moment you wish you knew somebody. This is just oh. They are staring at you. So cute. So we just got to the border. I'm going to try and cross. I think I'm meant to go through that way, so let's just see. So I guess we just wait. I don't know what the game plan is, but we're here. Just taking my documents. Let's see what that means for me. So I'll be told to come here next to get this paper on the stamp. What is it, sir? to the Gambia side and they're talking about temporary permit. We have to wait for the big bus to arrive. Uh, where do I start from? I thought it was better to update you. So from the Senegal side, had my car, went to the police station. Lord, I almost got busted. I had to stop a car. There was this woman, there's always women, were so observant. The men were clueless. I was recording, like, whatever. You should not be recording immigration. I like, try not to. I was like, I want to see the details. I want to see the You almost got me in trouble. You, got, you almost got me in trouble. And I had to play dumb because I delete it. I was like, it, 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 it doesn't delete. Like, anyway, so I think she was just like, I just, just let it be. So, it's the, the footage. Hallelujah. Um, I had to pay 2,000 sephers to get the car out of the country or into Gambia or their custom fee, whatever. So I paid it, they stamped. Did they stamp me out? I'm kind of thinking about it. They got out, they decided to ask for my number. Are you sure? So I asked for my number, you know, do I have a husband? No husband. So anyways, that's how we, I left the Gambia side. It was pretty straightforward, quite smooth. I then went into, sorry, the Senegal side. Then I then went into the camp Gambia side. Straight away, park the car. So this is a UK car. Went into custom. And then it's like they have to wait for the big bus because they have to be almost like temporary access or something like that. I literally sat there for almost an hour waiting for this man to show up. <laughs> His colleague was like, oh, I was just taking the path when I could. I was like, really? At 9? 9.30. Um, anyway, rock the bar at 10.30. Blah blah blah, oh, we can't let you in because 
you know people always say that they're gonna go but then they sell the car the same story like senegal but the, we have to that with a large fee so that when you come back you get it or something like that i was like bro i'm making my way all the way to lagos they start to complain i'm like i'm, I'm, I'm going to lagos so what's the deal so it's like do you know anybody thank god thank my father my road chief and my actual biological father he connected me with a local in gambia is one of his um, colleagues in the education sector and I've had, i have a contact so i hit up about like do you mind if you become like my guarantor to say that i'm actually gonna leave gambia with my vehicle um and she's like sure, sure. she sent me their id and everything that's how i don't know who i've had with i did not have that but i'm so 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 grateful that that was this is the first time you know i said that oh first time i'm transit country with a host it looks like you need a host in gambia um i don't know what i've been if i was just staying in a hotel i guess i would have to pay a fine or something um so anyways she sent the details the custom person came out he searched i'll try again he searched clips right here he was he was he sprayed my perfume i was like dude you're doing the most now if there's no nook and crack this customer so the part of customer service is like you're not transporting good straight away you open my car you know all of this stuff is personal but he wanted to do his job i didn't mind it was good banter <laughs> we had a good one and then they were like okay go stamp into gambia i go to the passport office they give me seven seven days in gambia and i'm going to stay for two got seven days and then i had to pay another two thousand for something police something something so that was four thousand total pay so it wasn't too bad there was no bribery there was no there didn't seem to be anything like that they were really happy people and the fact that they spoke english just made it a little bit better in terms of navigating that space better so and i was about to go then this guy come with some id card he's drunk so i'm like girl it is almost almost 10 it's almost to 11 at this point uh, your girl is hungry please so i, I was looking you maybe about that which is not the best idea but i'm so tired we go to his office i'm like yo there's nothing in this car he searched and searched spent about 20 minutes doing that one and then he let me go so that was the crossing experience from senegal into the gambia now i'm just ready to chill they don't seem to be much to do in the gambia there's the cooking class of glens of gambia and food and stuff like that there's the i think it's into the place here yeah. it's not that many trips. so that was it i realized i should have put a sim card at the border there was just so much going on i didn't so now i have no deal i'm going to maybe see it at the ferry station thank god i downloaded the offline app i keep telling you guys to do this so now i send that to the place where i catch the ferry to the capital missing to record the juicy bit i have mr superman number he said i should dial it when i get home like i'm always quite skeptical about the camera like i think it mind but you guys need to hear this juicy tale so i'm gonna leave the camera on next time and you can literally see his face was so close by here okay i just took his number the amount of people i just give my number so now i did what i can yeah you want my number no problem the block button is there when i get home that's what I do really. They call me and just put them. Then I'm free to go. I'm not going to see them ever again. So, why bother? You know, you know when you're hungry, when you start munching on chewing, I'm like, bro. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hello, madam. Hello. 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 No more plates is the same. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank How you, you so much. Yeah. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. No Bye. problem. Bye. 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 They stopped me because my front plate number was different from my back plate number. Like, 
not number sorry the color of the plate so in the uk the front plate number is um, white and the back is, ye is yellow here apparently it's the same stop it stop it for the other day it was tinted window today is plate number but i'm glad my number has got it and i give them the real number because i don't want the case that they call me around the spots and i'm in trouble um but just plot mohammed it's not mohammed oh, such an interesting character so I just arrived at the ferry terminal and here you have two options. You either pay for a regular ticket, which would be about 10 uh, cents, or alternatively, you pay for this VIP ticket. The VIP ticket was actually put on my dashboard, I'll show you in a minute. Um, and that allows you to go directly without you skipping up basically. And that itself is 20,000 cents. So yeah, that is the plan. This is guy that was just so Super, super, super. I like, I will, there's nothing to help me beat. I have the tickets. I'm fine, thank you, sir. Just my Just my Just my need to be ticketed. Yeah. My they're not, they're not, um, for sale. They're things like yeah, they're not for sale. 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 I asked at the office, they told me I don't need to buy anything yeah, else. You can search it, you can check. I'm just coming from the border. You can check it. Bye bye. 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 Bye but they said I said change and that's all I have. I don't have any other money right now. Because I asked, do I need any more money? He said no. So I said okay. That's why the officer, the man went to It was when you same same. I can put twenty hours. I see. But you're ticketing me for my bed or my pillow. What are you ticketing me for? There's nothing in here. Yeah, I, I, have, I have, if I have money, I'll give. I don't have any money. Yeah, I'll take money, cash money when I get to the capital. But I only have it enough to cross. Even, even 10, you can check my purse. Even 10 dollars, I don't have. Nothing. 15 dollars is so kind of you, but I don't have it. If I have, I'll give it to you. You pay for me? Okay, thank you. Okay, it wasn't a lie. There was a queue of people, about 10, 15 cars behind me, and I've just been allowed to go behind this person, which I guess is VIP. So they were not bullshitting me. With this place, you just don't know who is trying to take advantage of you not knowing, you know? It's so. And he actually gave me, no fairness, he actually gave me a ticket for $15, dollars which is less than a buck. And, you know, when I was fighting, that was like $100. Like, they. Ah, maybe not be crazy. But now we wait for the ferry, I guess. I can get out of the car and do some content here to show the ferry and everything. I still don't have signal. So right behind me is the ferry, right here in Barra. Um, we had, well, I paid for a VIP access so to make this trip faster. But we have literally been waiting here. I think it's just a case of timing. It'd be nice to know what time the ferry come, but I think they played by ear and they actually don't know because I've asked one person. And she said I mean like okay girl just just buy the tickets and you figure it out but yeah literally right here so this is the port I'd see no ferry coming anytime slow so now we just wait and wait and wait and wait <sighs> what I'll do for some food right now <laughs> but yeah the excitement is is there finally get to head to the capital of Gambia the joy of it all so that's the piece of card you put in um, to say priority border and we are all waiting so all the Paris people have piled up to as well and the other cars are on the other side so if you didn't get priority you have to wait here and more are behind so all the priority gets first dips but we are still waiting people I feel so sorry for them because they are in the sun 
at least I have my aircon in the car a little bit but this is just insane but it's almost more than an hour now it's a lot of patience any border crossing there I literally dedicate I usually dedicate about an hour to keep going the only regret is that I didn't have breakfast and I didn't buy a local SIM card at the border um, so I don't know. So the ferry has finally arrived. I'm so so happy. Do we get to go on this ferry? Because these cars are not coming out. Uh, don't let me start crying now. Well, the passenger that wants to go off here has already got enough. Hmm. Trying to board the moving ferry. It should be interesting. And off we go into the ferry. <laughs> wow, they so come this way first. So, I am um, off the ferry. Long story short, I couldn't find my camera to actually record. Like, where is my camera? So, I just found a way to park. So, the ferry was an interesting experience. I actually did not leave my car just because of how much people were on that ferry. I will install a video so you can see it was busy so I just sat there it was an hour 30 minutes journey to cross now 35 ish um, and it was pretty straightforward like it was very different from the other two ferry crossing I've done um, but it wasn't too bad either so 20,000 for me to cross that's what you could charge for me on my car and that's what I had to pay um, and now I realize you know I've been dark for a while which is a blessing this guy sometimes because it just takes me allows me to not be online and I'm just like in the moment and very 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 present so it hasn't been terrible but there's this shop called AfriSell I'm going to check in there to see if I can get a sim card I was just looking around to see where I see phone and I literally saw like a phone shop and then I was like oh actually there's this um, place I can get a sim card so I'm gonna get a sim card and get back online so this was the phone shop I actually spotted while driving um, but this is where I think I can get some sim card this is push so let's see if this is the right place so first thing i did in gambia is to try and find the beach so apparently it is like a beach area got a few restaurants around let's see what i can back in yama because your girl is hungry Oh, what a day. I don't know they say go where the locals go. Find them and do what they do. So I've just been called over. Sadly, my social battery is really on the low. In terms of like engaging with people. You know, sometimes you're like constantly turned on. Like you have to be like talking to people, engaging with them. And some days you're just like, I am socially tapped out. <laughs> But he called me over, so let's see what he has to say. I think he wants me to eat at his restaurant, which I don't mind if it's good food. Mr. Jabo Juice Bar. He has a juice bar. Okay, he wants me to buy some juice at his juice bar, which is great. Why not? Support a local vendor. Um, but I wanted to see the beach first. So I will pop back to him. I'm looking for food. <laughs> Where's the food at? Ah, very unique. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want more mango than orange? More mango than orange, more please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Nice mm -hmm. yeah. Very fresh. So the mango oranges I went for. Um, 
and it was so kind they kind of like welcomed me to gambia i know this one's not being forceful you know They're like you have to buy now there was no digression I was like okay and i said i'll go and come back he said no problem but yeah just a very chilled vibe i want to be feeling like you know i got my mango juice my baby there let's go find some food now we've done enough gallivanting oh they say welcome to gambia look at them these cheeky monkeys how cool is that I have to be careful my valuables because I know how monkeys be like sometimes. They just grab your things. So this is the view for dinner. This is about solo travel sometimes. They're like, oh ma'am, could you sit at the back seat? I'm like, no, I came here for the view. <laughs> if you don't want to give me the view, I'll find another restaurant. Other people that come later can sit at the back. Anywho, that's an interesting start. Let's eat something catch a sunset i thought this was going to be connected to the beach where it's actually just a pole but it's okay Ooh. this is tired and this is what i'm feeling right now i need to take a bath that's what i need right now nice hot shower will be very nice right now and this is what we're having for dinner we got the fish catch of the day i don't know why i thought it would be like a whole fish for what they were pricing it for but we're gonna ignore that and i asked for stew i'm like guys i need something spicy so hopefully that has a nice kick and the rice is lukewarm at first i don't know why they do this come with some hot food hmm? i don't know why why do they do lukewarm food like make it piping hot but anyways the sun has set it set on the other side so i didn't really see much but just sat here for a moment to take it all in let me try and enjoy this dinner. You know what they say? Don't judge a plate by its cover. I know that's what they say, but still, that was actually a good meal. The spice, they had the right amount of spice, the flavoring, the seasoning. I actually cannot complain. It was just a bit look, a bit cold, which I don't like when I'm eating. But the taste compensated heavily. And I feel like napping right here. Oh, this gotta be the good life. Like, just, just gonna be able to just take it all in. It's pretty empty still, so it's a good spot. We don't want to be, you know, surrounded by people. Oh, I want to sleep. Shower and sleep. That's all I have on my mind right now. My belly is full. My heart is full. It's time to go. They have this little culture right here, which I think is so cool. This is it's like a bed century. It's just befitting. Um, and yeah, it's really pretty. It's a really, really nice space. And you have like the bar area over there where you obviously cook cook sorry eat on the other side but yeah it's nice really cute layout i'll say if i'm gonna bring like a group trip here this is where we'll go like and grab dinner it makes perfect sense you have the whole of the beach ah oh, it's calling me <laughs> the oceans are calling me oh and then i don't know if you can see it's like a full 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 moon totally circular when i started this trip two weeks ago like a semi moon in morocco and stuff so this is quite interesting to see um but yeah oh the ocean just brings me so much joy so much joy i guess they do do horse ride by the beach as well there's two horses here Shin gets closer to them we've got the darker one and you've got the white one right here as well so I'm guessing they do, you know, ride across. I'm so surprised. It's almost, it's almost 7.30 and it's this bright. Like it's sunset, but it's bright. I don't know how to explain it. But that's the sunset behind. Sunset is casting that way. Beautiful sky. Absolutely stunning. Can you hear the sound of the ocean? <laughs> Can you hear the sound of the ocean? Oh man. Not a single thing beats moments like this. Basically have the whole beach to yourself. Totally unspoiled. Just perfection. I love how the light of the moon is reflecting in the waters right there. That's amazing. Oh. 
I'm so <laughs> I'm so grateful to be alive. Like in moments like this, I am so grateful to be alive. It was nice hanging out with you and the usual same place same time you know can't wait to show you more of this london to lagos road trip take care